Hello guys, this is James from Golden Shiny Trading. In this video, I will introduce you three main markets in EU. So let's go to China first, and then we go to Eastern Province, Zhejiang, and then go to Jinghua City, where EU is one of Jinghua's administrative region. Now finally, we arrive EU City. As we can see from top right map, it's not a very big city, but it's very important city to China, even to the world in trade business. Now first, Market here is EU production materials market. This market mostly selling different types of manufacturing machines. Second is Huangyuan garment market, where you can purchase various ready-made clothes for every age people. Now time to go to today's topic, EU international market, also known as EU Futian market or EU commodity market. Look at these yellow push pins here. There are five districts from district 1 to 5. Okay, let me brief you guys one by one. This is district 1 that has 5 block from A to E. On the right is newly built district 1 east area. Next is district 2. That is F block. Next here is still district 2, but it's G block. We go up north a little is district 3. Now keep it up. Here is district 4. To the right, is district 5. Check here. Okay, totally 5 districts make up EU international trade market. Now you have a clear idea what comprised of this one of the biggest markets in the world. Now today let me walk you through the EU international production materials market. This market built in 2013. It's another government sport market for domestic and export purpose in EU. Mostly goods selling here are production materials related product. After we visited one to three floors in the past videos, this video will show you fourth floor, which is also the top floor in this market, filled with all leather suppliers. That's right, all different types of leather. Leather for stationery, clothes, suitcase, belt, bag, purse, handbag, car seat, and other industries. Leather material can apply to many industries in our life, so it is big product category. Check shops in our camera. Almost every shop has numerous colors showed in the shop where you can see right straight. When you step into the shop, make sure you compare those patterns and colors very carefully before you confirm to order. Best way to do is bring your own sample and step-by-step -step check leather texture and color number. About the color number, it's impossible to make sure 100% the same just by your eyes. Therefore, shop will show you the Pantone color card for final confirmation on specific color. That's the professional way to do. Once you confirm the leather texture and the color, next thing to do is confirm the quantity and the price. Now about the quantity, you can see those leather material packed by rows. Those suppliers sell by meters with different widths. Some are 100 meters per row, some are 150 meters per row. Depends on suppliers and the type of leather material. You can also ask a supplier to pack according to your requirement. About the price, first thing is you need to get to visit enough suppliers and check enough samples around here, which will make you do better negotiating with suppliers. You can't just simply and randomly push suppliers down the price. That's very unprofessional. You need to persuade shops to reduce price in both favors. After all, everyone wants business and profits. Above is the video guide of fourth floor in EU production materials market. Welcome to contact us for more details about how to purchase goods from China and ship goods to your country. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day.